Hello kids and welcome to today's lesson. I'm so glad to have you here. I hope you're all doing well and I hope your families are doing well also. My name is Fumi and the title of today's lesson is The Worker. So before we start, I'd like for us to say a short prayer. So go ahead and bow your heads, close your eyes, put your hands together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today's lesson. We pray that you would help us understand what you have to say to us. And we pray that you will help us be doers of your word. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so I'd like to jump straight into our memory verse for this lesson. So I'll say it first and then we can do it together. So the memory verse is from Genesis chapter 30, verse 43. And it says, God blessed Jacob with many flocks and children. It's pretty easy, right? Okay, so let's do it together. Genesis chapter 30, verse 43. God blessed Jacob with many flocks and children. Genesis chapter 30, verse 43. Good job. Okay, so if you can keep practicing, then you'll be able to memorize the memory verse. And if you can do that, you can send an audio of you saying the memory verse to the church's WhatsApp number. You can get your parents or an adult around you to help you do that. So let's go to our story. While I read the story, you would notice the number seven. Comes up many times. So I thought it'd be fun for us to count to seven every time I say the word seven or I say the number seven. Okay. Can you do that? All right. Let's read the story. Jacob traveled many days. He finally arrived in Haran, where his uncle Laban lived. Now Jacob had left home. His father was Isaac and his mother was Rebekah. He had a brother called Esau. I don't know if you've heard that story before or heard about his family before. But this is what happens after Jacob leaves home to go to his uncle Laban's home in a different place. Laban's family was glad to meet Jacob, and he was glad to meet them. He told them all about Isaac and Rebekah and his twin brother Esau. Soon after Jacob arrived, he fell in love with Rachel, Laban's daughter. He wanted to marry her. One day, Laban said, Jacob, please stay with my family. Work for me. I will pay you what you ask. Yes, said Jacob. I will be glad to stay. I will work for seven years. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that I can marry Rachel, your daughter. It's a deal, said Laban. After seven years, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. You may marry my daughter. So Jacob agreed to stay with Laban and his family. Jacob agreed to work for Laban. He became a shepherd. He took care of Laban's sheep and goats. God bless Laban because of Jacob. Jacob loved Rachel so much that the seven years, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, went by very quickly. He worked very hard. He slept outside with the animals during the cold nights. He stayed outside with the sheep and goats during the hot days. Sometimes he stayed up all night protecting them. After seven years, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Jacob married Rachel, and the Lord blessed Jacob. 
Soon he had many children. Jacob kept working hard and was always fair and honest with Laban. But sometimes Laban was not fair and honest with Jacob. Laban tricked Jacob and made him work seven more years. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Laban did not always pay Jacob what he had promised, but Jacob knew that the Lord would take care of him. Jacob did what was right. The Lord kept blessing Jacob. Laban had more and more sheep and goats. Laban knew that the Lord was helping Jacob. So he gave Jacob some of his sheep and goats. God blessed Jacob and soon Jacob had more animals than Laban. The Lord rewarded Jacob for all his hard work. After 20 years of working for Laban, the Lord told Jacob that it was time to return to his home. He had blessed Jacob with many children. He had blessed Jacob with many goats and sheep. Jacob had been away for many years. He was excited to return to his home. Jacob had learned to be honest and to work hard. He had learned to trust and to love God. Wow, what a story. Jacob stuck by what he was doing, even though Laban tricked him. And guess what? God blessed Jacob. And Jacob had even more than Laban. So what do you think God is trying to tell you from the story? I think he's trying to say that you need to learn how to be a hard worker. So how can you be a hard worker right now? Do you have a job that you do? Probably not, <laughs> but you have chores at home. Maybe your parents tell you to sweep the floor or dust the furniture or tidy up your room or clean up after yourself. Whatever it is, do it well work hard. If you're in church and you participate in any activity, do it well. Work hard. You can also work hard at school. If you have homework, do it well. And guess what? God will reward you for all your hard work. You want to grow up to be a musician, a doctor, an engineer, Whatever you want to be, work hard and God will bless you. So I hope you really enjoyed our lesson today. Let's do our memory verse one more time before we leave. Do you remember what our memory verse is? Okay, Genesis 30 verse 43. God blessed Jacob with many flocks and sheep. Genesis 30, verse 43. Well, I'm glad you were all here today. It's time to say goodbye. Um, if you practice the memory verse, don't forget to send a recording of yourself to the church's WhatsApp number. And bye, guys.